Hallelujah. Expectation brings results. Without expectation, there's no results. Why should you sit for an exam if you don't expect good marks? The same way, why should you come in the house of the Lord if you don't expect a touch? Mediocrity is doing something without intention. Every intention qualifies you for any result you need. The question is this, how big is your intention when you came today? What was your intention? We are fasting. Why are you fasting? You are in the house of the Lord. Why are you in the house of the Lord? There is no pregnant woman in the labor room who is not ready to deliver. You may have a vision. You may have a purpose. But if you are not ready to deliver it, you cannot go to the labor room. Am I talking? Why did you come today if you say God will bless you? Are you expecting the blessing? Are you ready to deliver the blessing? Ask your neighbor, are you ready to give, get the blessing? Listen to me, because you are three months or because you have signs and symptoms of child in your body, does not mean you have qualified to give birth. Is it true? It's when you feel your body is ready, that's when you qualify. The times of coming to church without any intention and purpose should stop. Because God is the maker of men, not a user of them. I have been serving God for a few months, but I have not seen him coming down on me, disappointing me. All the things I'm desiring, God is giving me one by one. One by one. I'm counting my blessings. The strength I'm carrying, I can labor for long hours and feel nothing. It is the intention. You see, why most people have not seen God is because they have never had the right intention with God. If you serve cooking, what is the purpose of cooking? To eat. Is it true? Unless maybe you cook for decoration. Who has ever come to someone's house and said, I'm a decorated nyumba na nyanya. I'm a vish nyanya. Who has ever seen someone like doing that? No. When you come to the house of God, the same thing. Don't wake up for the sake of waking up. Don't come for the sake of coming. Come with an intention. Tell them never be intentional. Now, we are fasting. Is it true? Or we are feasting? Which one are we doing? How many of us are fasting? How many of us are trying to fast? And how many of us are on the way to fast? We shall fast, all of us. Tell your neighbor you shall fast with me. And tell her next time I'll have stomach meter. He will you. I'll be measuring your stomach ability. Okay? Listen to me. This thing will give you results. Did you hear what I'm saying? First thing will give you results. Ask me. You see, I'm so strong. I'm energetic. Even I feel nothing. I think we should prolong it to 40 days. 28 days looks very small. What do you think, sir? Uh, you agree with me? 40 days. We add 12 days on top. Do you, you will manage, yeah? Uh, but yesterday you are saying your testimony uh, that on Sunday, Monday morning he was given breakfast. He survived. Is it true? Listen to me. God will give you open doors. Isaiah chapter 40. Don't just serve God blindly. Serve God with an intention. Serve God with a what? What's your reason of doing anything you are doing in life? If you have not found the reason, go back today find the reason. Are we clear? Or you'll keep on doing things without knowing why you're doing it. We don't follow trends. We are the trailblazers. Hallelujah. We are the ones who create trends. Do you know what I'm talking about? We don't follow trends. We are the trailblazers. We are the ones who create trends in our life. Because everyone is jumping doesn't mean you need to jump. I'm asking the truth. Now, Ecclesiastes says, remember the creator in the days of your youth. Is it true? Remember him. Now, let us look at the book of Isaiah chapter 40. And today I want us to go through our story here. And I want you to be intentional. Are we clear? Today, after you finish this service, don't stay without food. And say you're fasting. You don't pray. You don't read the word. You're not intentional what you want to get. You must know what you want to get. I, I was believing God for something for the concerning the ministry. And I already had my encounter. And I'm already studying on it. On Monday. That's where the results came. The day I started. <laughs> and I've been studying and reading and studying and reading. 
studying and reading. That's what I've been doing. Every time I'm moving, I'm listening to a message. No message of time. At 10 o'clock every morning, shut down everyone. In the morning. My time with my God. Yes. Not sleeping before 2 a.m. Stay awake. This whole week, that's what I've been doing. Why am I sleeping before 2 a.m.? I'm not. Do I look very old? I can run faster than you. You want us to bet? Yeah? You want us to bet? Uh, someone ran away from my competition with them. And do you remember the person, eh? Ah, ah. What's your intention? Isaiah chapter 40, are we there? Verse 28. I want you to be intentional. What is it that you have seen in your family you don't like? What is it in your life that you don't like? What is it that you have been raised with that you don't like? What is the family pattern? I've been hearing cases of this happened to our family. It's happening to my daughter. It's happening to me. Don't be ignorant. Do you know what? Please, things don't happen for the sake of happening. Now, the only person who fell down was the devil. Was who? He was thrown out of heaven. He fell from heaven to what? Men do not fall. Men slid out of the presence of God. And God gave you Jesus Christ to resume back your position. But the devil cannot go back to heaven. And where you slid from was the place of dominion. Are we clear? When a man fell or slid and said they lost dominion. But God said through Christ Jesus, you can receive what? Dominion. But again, as talking about that dominion, Jesus came and told us one key that we need to get that dominion. Among them was fasting. Are we clear? Was what? You are not too young to think that you cannot stay without food. There's nothing will happen to you. Unless maybe I look sick. I don't look sick. You are not too young. Amen. Verse 28 says, thou, Has thou known? Has thou not known? Isaiah chapter 40, verse 28. I think I'll read for him here. Yeah. Have you not known? Have you not heard? That everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither what? Nor is what? Your God will never faint you. Hallelujah. There's no day you'll be in an emergency that doesn't show up. He's never tired. Never think God will be tired of blessing you or changing your life. No. Never think like that. Yeah, say, his understanding is what? Wow. That's a mystery. Verse 29. He gives what? To the what? Weak how? Not weak in body. Weak in waiting for him. Hallelujah. And those that who have no might, he increases what? When you are fasting, it's not easy. Someone can push you. Even the wind can carry you. Am I saying the truth? Yeah. When someone laughs, say, hey, don't make me laugh. <laughs> now, save battery, battery saving. I'm waiting for six o'clock. I break my fast. Huh? Verse 30. Even the youth shall what? And be what? And the young men shall utterly fall. The youth can fall by, based on emotional issues. Mental depression. But our God, when you wait on him, you cannot fail. Your mind will be strong. And look at verse 1. But those who what? Oh, what's the meaning of waiting on the Lord? I'll go there. Shall renew what? And they shall mount our wings like? They shall run and not be what? They shall walk and not what? Those that wait, tell your neighbor, wait. Those that wait. He didn't say those that speak in tongues. He didn't say those that come to church. He didn't say those that will carry the big Bible. Huh? Have a big Bible. Give me. Hallelujah. What is the biggest Bible than mine in this church? Show me. This one is amplified and King James. It's two Bibles in one. If I give you read thee thou, when you're done reading thee thou, you read the real English. Let me look for a verse for you. Hallelujah. Hmm? Hmm? This one is serious. Hallelujah. Hmm? You know how to read? Come here. Hallelujah. And you read exactly the way it is written. Huh? Don't read your own way. Amen. Verse 23. 
Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 23. This, this right here. That said the Lord. Let this exact page is the next. Don't look at that eye. Eh? <laughs> this one you possess. You see? <laughs> That said the Lord, uh -huh. let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, mm -hmm. neither let the mighty man glory in his might, uh -huh. let not the rich man glory in his riches. Did you see that scripture? Puff. That said the Lord. When you tell someone, that said the Lord, they will hear you understood the Queen's language. Hallelujah. That said the Lord. Do not glory in your own what? Wisdom. Third thing is not man's wisdom. It's God's wisdom. Are we clear? Oh, you, did you get the scripture? You did not get it. Oh, let me say it. Because all of you are looking at me. Jeremiah 9, 23. It was not accidental opening. Eh? Are we clear? Jeremiah 9. Open it. That said the Lord, let not the wise man glory in his what? Neither let the mighty man glory in his what? Let not the rich man glory in his what? You wait on the Lord. Then you shall mount up wings like eagles. You shall run and not be weary. Ow! And you shall walk and not be faint. What are you collapsing on? Manjiko refused to pick your phone call. You're about to put a cello tape on your neck to die. Now I came to realize this generation has the highest form of depression. I'm saying the truth. This generation is very soft. Mosquito bite. Man of God, help me. I'm about to die. Can you see the sweat? I think even heaven is calling me. Heaven is not calling you. He's not interested with you. You know, I, I say, I believe in hardness. Uh, th that's me. I believe nothing comes easy, okay? You must know to stand like a rock. Are we clear? The essence of our building is the ability to stand. The higher it goes, the higher it is supposed to be able to stand the storms and the wind of life. Now, wait. Tell your neighbor, wait. Now, I want to give you a story of an eagle. How many of us know what an eagle is? Eagles, why the Bible used that example of an eagle here? It was intentional. It was what? It was not supposed just to, for the sake of just passing information. No, 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 no. It was intentional. Amen. Eagles grow and they reach a particular age of their life. They need to go back and renew themselves. They do what? After years, an eagle will grow old. Naturally grow old. When it grows old, it goes to the highest mountain. Hmm. And it stays there for around three months. How many months? Three months. Do you know what it's doing? It is going there to lose its feathers. So that new feathers can grow. Yeah? So it goes, the first thing it uses is big to remove the fur. What is covering you that is making you not move forward? What are you carrying that is making you not move forward? Those are your feather like. A feather is what covers you. Is it true? It goes and removes the feathers of the beak, one by one. All of it. All of it. After that, it chews its talons, you know, the feet, and breaks them. All of it with its own beak. Then after that, it breaks its own beak. Then it says for three months without food. In those three months, the feathers are growing, the talons are growing, and a new beak is what? That's the process of renewal. What do you need to drop that is surrounding you? Where is your feet going that doesn't need to go? What is in your mouth that is causing you not to move forward? That's the process of waiting. When you are waiting, you drop every weight. You drop what? Now, the Bible says, let us be careful to drop every weight that besets us. There's a weight that holds people. Tell them about a weight that holds people. This ego, God removes this all weight for new weight. For new weight. Wow. 
three months. If they say between 120 and 150 days without anything, you can go research, read. I have my own here. I'm reading it from you so that I can be correct with my grammar. Hallelujah. That's the process of fasting. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Hebrews 12, 1. So this eco God removes its feather. This is a fasting period. This week, your skin has been having an issue with you. Your stomach has been rambling. Eh? Hey, what's happening with this guy? Is this having diarrhea? <laughs> your minions are realizing there is a process going on in the body. Hey! Hebrews 12, 1, and as I continue with my story. And as I say, fasting is very good. It changes you. It renews you without you knowing. You become more disciplined. You realize there are some things you cannot do. Uh -huh. Therefore, we also, since we are what? By so great a cloud of what? Let us lay aside what? Everyone has a weight, including me. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin we so easily what? And let us run with what? The rest that is set as before. How will you run if you are not fasting? You'll be wary. The only way to run this thing out is by fasting. An eagle, I'm reading what is written here. An eagle does not lose all its feathers at one time. It is a gradual process. Continually renewing its feathers. The process requires the eagle to fly to a mountain top and sit on its nets. The eagle cannot survive without food for anything close to 150 days. That's why it says between 120 to 150 what? Days. It's going to lose its feathers. Ask your neighbor, who do you need to lose? What did they tell you? Huh? The cassava lady, lose them. Huh? The mutura guy, losing. Are we clear? Are we clear? Eh? Chapo Madondo friend, let him go. Hallelujah. You know what is it? What do you need to lose? It goes and loses. And plucking a feather is not a, it's a process. Now I'm going to talk to you. Hey, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to Hey, KFC. Kentucky Fried Hey! Have you ever had, had get a chicken, put it on hot water, remove it, pluck it? I think we should, during the youth camp, we should get for them live chicken. They kill it for themselves. What you lie to one? Roy, have you ever had a chicken? Or you run away? Say, man of God, the devil is looking for me through this chicken. You already told me the devil can enter through people. <laughs> it has entered the chicken. <laughs> Did you hear that? To remove the feathers. What do you need to remove? That's the fasting. That's why don't use this fasting like just no. It's a time to reflect to yourself. Do you know if you are hungry, you think well. Nana make an anja. You see, kuna fikirianga, my friend. I should change. Fakona samanga, I will budget next time. I will not misuse money. I will not go anywhere. When you are hungry, you think. Do you know that? But when you're full, you just feel like dozing. One of my daughters tells me, Akikula tu hivi, slumberland, immediately. Nika mosingwezi na kujanga tu na chaku. Which one? It removes its feathers. How are ego strong? They say here, yeah. like all birds of prey, egos have very large hooked beaks for ripping flesh from their prey, strong, muscular legs, and powerful talons. The beak is typically heavier than most of the birds of prey. Did you hear that? The beak is heavier. Ah! So, eagle's eyes are extremely powerful. So, what do they do? They go, they knock the beak against the rock until it plucks out. Who is willing to subject themselves to that relationship? That you are willing to lose everyone for the sake of God. Who is ready? Are you sure? Do you know they will call you fools? Are you, do you know they will call you you are mad? They will call you spirit. They will call you churchy. They will call you anything. 
you hear that? I, I want you, when you get time, go watch the video. You will be surprised. I was watching it yesterday and I said, wow. I heard this story a few many years ago. I've heard it. But this time it entered me. I saw how the eagle goes, removes his talons. Man, it's painful. I was imagining. Now I'm going to go to I'm going Mimi ni mewai kwa nguo. Nami watu mchezo bolu muna joy kitu guli. Uli hata bolu kapata mawe. Uwa! Ukenda tu nyumbani unko walking style. <laughs> and that's the process the ego will go through for the sake of a new life. Three months without food, but knows I will eat well and when I'm done eating, fasting. You can stay for these 28 days for the sake of the remaining days of the year. Am I talking? Am I talking? What is it that you need a change of story for? Where are you waving? Ah. Amen. And the Bible says, these eagles, not the Bible, this story, article. Okay? They use sun to get energy and the green plants produced food through photosynthesis. So they stop eating meat. They eat only vegetables. The order of Daniel. Eh? Not defiling myself with king's food. Daniel did not eat the king's food. He ate only vegetables. Eh? What does it mean? Vegetables are not sweet. Is it true? That's why mukipem tumboga na kongali asema. Akuna nyama. Ata supu ya iko. Vegetables are not very delicious. But they are very healthy for the body. Is it true? Now God is saying to tell you, stay away from these things. I don't want you to defile yourself for the sake of where I'm taking you. For the sake of where I'm taking you. Don't take fasting as the church program. It's not a church program. It's for you. It's for what? With all due respect, I fast by myself. But you see why I rally the church to every weekly fasting, even after these 28 days, the same week we are finishing on Sunday, that same week, we have a week of spiritual emphasis. We are weekly, yeah. Week is three days, spiritual enlightenment. Well, why are you looking at me alone like that? We are still fasting. Uh -huh. I always tell uh, my daughter sometimes when you get a man who cannot stay without food, will have problems with his sexual appetite. When a man can control his food stomach problems, he can control his sexual appetite. Check any man with very crazy sexual appetites, they cannot stay without food. Food helps stability, helps create discipline. Do you know that? With all these fasting, you cannot be having careless erection. Am I saying the truth? When will you be having energy for erection for? Ask your neighbor, where will you get the energy from if you're truly fasting? You cannot, you cannot be having careless arousal. You are fasting unless you are not. If you are not, that's why you love careless one. Because you are focused on a goal. God. I need a change of story. Amen. You see, when you do that, you realize you'll start overcoming addiction slowly, one by one. It's not easy. I'm telling you the truth. Discipline is not easy. But it's something you teach yourself. And you know why we have 28 days? In general, psychologists, they say it takes 21 days to create a habit. To create what? If you take these 28 days and don't engage in intercourse, having sex, you will manage to stay other days without having sex. I'm telling you the truth. But if you break one routine, you have not changed anything. You need to start the cycle again. 21 days. Ask the neighbor, will you manage? What are they saying? Am I talking to someone? If you are suffering from gluttony spirits, Jirani and Apiko unanza kusalivate, nata seo yako. Unanza kunaleto ananga, anona kuku kizunguka po town, unanza kusuma, Father, don't forsake me. Remember me with this chicken. Eh? Glutony spirits. When you can manage this fasting, you realize how you'll be very disciplined. I'm telling the truth. Someone asked me, how do you manage to do your work yet you're not employed and you still do it as if you're employed? I say it's discipline created over the years. No one used to tell me to study. I studied by myself. I'm now in missing. No one will tell me to do my work. As now I'm talking to you, I'm creating a leadership course program that will start next year and we'll have graduates. Hallelujah. Four levels of leadership. I'm writing it down as I'm talking. 
I still have the salmon. Is it true? I am already preparing for March. I was talking to my daughter. I'm saying I'm done with February. I'm in March now, preparing for March. What am I doing with sleep? Discipline. But you know, I got this discipline from here, from fasting. When I fasted the first day, I wondered what will I do the whole, whole day? See only TV? I'm not in social media. I'm not eating. What am I doing? I slept. I woke up. I slept. I woke up. I realized this sleeping and waking up is not helping me. Let me get something to do that will help me move forward. Ask a neighbor, will you fast? They say, yeah. Why the eagle does this is because the weaknesses of an eagle is his personality. It is what? And God was very strategic when he was saying you must be renewed like an eagle. Most of us, our weakness is our personality. Am I saying the truth? We are moody. We are always like weather focused. We are having rain and sunshine at a go. What kind of personality you have? I posted something in my status yesterday. I said, if you want to know the true character of a person or the integrity of a person, is correct them. Tell them you are wrong. You will know their character. Any person you tell them you are wrong and they react in a negative voice, that's their integrity. That's their character. That's their value. I don't believe a man can never be corrected. I don't ever believe that. I have never believed that. Even myself, I know I can be wrong. All of us have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Is it true? There is something I can say which is not right. Is it true? Your personality, if you check, is your weakness in this fasting. Check. You love sleeping. You love food. You love party. You love Facebook. You love WhatsApp. You love Twitter. You love TikTok. You love Pinterest. You love what? You have many whatever applications. What do you have I left? Instagram. Which one again have I left? Snapchat. Which one have I left again? Huh? At what? Empesa. <laughs> The weakness of an eagle is his personality. The reason he breaks it is because he knows he cannot stay without eating meat. Are we clear? So it takes away the most precious thing, the talons, the wings to fly, and the beak, so that he can subject his personality. That's why they say an eagle is very swift. It has developed character by waiting. Fasting will build you. Fasting will build you, my friends. I've told you this means has been built by fasting. They know from the word go, it is not something we are doing now. It's something we have been doing continuously. And I tell them, we may come to Christ with weaknesses. Are we clear? But if we follow every program given in the kingdom, you will realize you will change levels. That addiction, you are able to overcome it. Listen to me. All of us, we are running to the cross. Are we saying the truth? Yes. I was not a saint when I was born. I was a sinner, a big one. I have stolen... I have done many things. I'm also in work in progress by what? Subjecting myself to the kingdom principles. And that kingdom principle is waiting on the Lord. Now Joshua was waiting for Moses. We were not only had food. Is it true? Moses was in the mountain for how many days? How many days? 40. Ask a neighbor. How long can you wait without food? Hallelujah. And the Bible says yeah, he will satisfy you when you wait upon him. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, actually the Bible story, remember? This article says, the molting eagle finds himself in the valley, unable to fly with his feathers falling out. They lose the ability to see. Oh my God. As well, their vision weakens during this time. Calcium builds up on the beaks and they cannot hold their heads up. So they fall. Now, this is so traumatic. To the proud, majestic birds, the eagles are truly are. You know, when you're fasting, if someone calls you Kichokubo na Mwangalia too, you cannot say anything. You're waiting on the what? If you used to be abusive, you stop being abusive. Is it true? 
when you are fasting, can you abuse anyone? Even the conductor told you, wewe, wacha manga, unamambia tu. Jesus loves you. But kama wekule ugali, unajifanya wewe ni mwenye ngu? Fasting humbles you. I've come to realize what helps me to humble myself even in this work of God as we are growing is my fasting life. I try to fast as much as possible. It reminds me I am not built of myself. I am built of God. Did you hear that? It keeps me under. So when Ryan comes and tells me, Daddy, I think we should do this, I will listen because I've come to realize I am not built of myself. Maybe when I was fasting, it became my answer point. And God used him to come and answer me. Where are you struggling? Engage in this fasting. We have 21 days starting from tomorrow. Today, if you didn't take breakfast, let us continue. Hallelujah. Now you have 22 days. Wait on the Lord. Pray. Talk to God about your personality and your character. Stop asking God for blessings sometimes. I always say, most people want the anointing, want their blessing, but do you have what it takes to keep the blessing and the anointing? Some of you say, God, give me one million. If I give you one million, will we see you? Ask a neighbor, if I give you ten million, will I see you? Yeah, that's the day your friend is talking in English. God bless you, my, my friend. I'm in the spirit. I will come to church. I'm just I'm traveling with God in my house. Long time with Jesus. Ten million confused you. Don't ask God for blessing without asking him for character. Ask God for character, and the character will bring the blessing. Did you hear what I say? Don't ask God for blessing without the character. Ask God for the character. Then you will grow what? The blessing. Like I always say, I know many people, I can, but I always look at people's character first before you can recommend anything. Because character is everything. Blessing is never everything. What makes God is because it's I am who's I am. Numbers 23, 17. 19, sorry. He's not a man that he should what? God is God. He will never fail. His character is here forever. Amen. You are asking God for blessing. How is your character? If this small money can make you no come to church, small money will make you have sex everywhere. With small money, you can be everywhere. When God gives you more, what will happen to you? And let's say, if this ministry starts and stop enjoying financial breakthrough, it means myself as my character has already failed. Me. I always start with me. You see, why I never check the offering basket or the thing? Because I know I keep myself with God. I know the blessings will flow. Because character is what brings blessings, not blessings that other way brings character. You should know that. Now, fasting is here. Say, God, develop. You see, God is not a man to lie. Develop my character. Develop my personality. I don't know how to relate to people. Teach me how to talk to people. I am waiting on God. That's why you are waiting on God. Am I talking to someone? You are saying, you are not, you are not even done listening to secular music. You are still listening to secular music. How will you manage with God? How, how, how will you manage with God? How? I was laughing with Zanel now in the morning. I was asking her, are you coming to dance? By the way, why does she not dance? They were not on time. Yeah. That one tell them now, blessing and character. Yeah? Are we clear? I only say, if you cannot keep time, you do not qualify any blessing. <laughs> According to me, character, the first instrument of character is time. My grandpa is working with me. She knows I don't have excuses why you could not do something. I only say, we have 24 hours. You can see work at night. Are we clear? There's what you do during the day. There's what you can do at night. The immovable, do it at night. The immovable, do it during the day. Simple. What's the problem with you? Character brings blessing. Now, this fasting will develop your character. Are we clear? You'll be careful not to talk rudely to people. You will realize you're not going to particular places. You realize you're not singing particular things. You realize you're not watching. You realize you're not engaging in particular conversations. You realize you're focused. Will you wait on the Lord? Have I talked with you today? The eagle. I've given you an example of an eagle. It's painful. Now I may pick one gumi. Mim na pick one skumoja. Nika. Paka nika tafuna will leave me. I know ladies don't understand this experience. Men, have you ever had this experience? Eh? 
Huh? Men, how many men have ever had something like mine? Uh, you, you are strong men. Thank you. You guys are strong men. These other ones don't know what is the real thing. Hallelujah. Pako kikunya supu huku mefura. There's a formula of drinking soup. I'm telling you, there's a formula. Uku kifura huku. Ah. Inambianga, guza pole pole. Unapuatu majia chumvi, moto. Eh? Watu wanafunya nyama lakini wewe wezi. Unambia tu, unaguza tu kasupa. Unasema, it's okay. Can we wait on the Lord? How many of us will fast? I want to talk to you today. Will you fast? I'm telling you, fast with your heart. Today, it might be difficult. Try. Three o'clock, try. But try up to aim up to six o'clock. You guys can do from six to six. Nothing will happen to you. Take water during the day. Are we clear? Get time to pray. Get time to reflect and think, where do you have weaknesses? Be honest with yourself. This is my struggle. I know no one here wants to fail. No one here wants to be poor. No one here wants to struggle. And I'm charging you, this is the beginning. Take a notebook and a pen. The time for lunch, sit down and have a meeting with yourself. Ask yourself after this fasting, what will I do different? How will I work on myself? How will I save? How will I invest? That's how I study. This, I take my fasting. Like when you say, I'm thinking ministry right now. I'm thinking, the I was telling you the next seven years, where I will be. I am working on it. I have no time to be sleeping. I have no time. I, I have no time. May God give you understanding in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So I want us to make a prayer. Lord, give me the capacity to wait on you. And you will pray for five minutes. Eh? No looking at me. Tell your neighbor you will pray. Tell your neighbor if I see you, mm -hmm, I'll tell you to go out. Tell your neighbor if I see you doing that. You open your mouth. Some of us don't know how to pray. That's a problem. We don't know how to open our mouth. But if I tell you Ugali is here, Pisa is here, Nyamachoma is here, man of God, give me first. Now, I want you to cry before God. Say, God, I want to wait on you. And these are the blessings I'm expecting to have. Develop a character in me that I will enjoy these blessings by the end of this 20 days of prayer fasting. Henry Shad yesterday said one of his friends, he was believing him to come on board. Is it true? He knows the Bible and everything. But he called him and told him, I've been seeing you guys fasting. What is this thing about fasting? Is it true? He decided the first prayer point will be the kingdom. You have never, your family, no one has driven a car. No one has flew out. No one has ever entered a plane. May you be the first one in the name of Jesus Christ. May you not travel to Dubai to pay money for business, to enjoy life. Amen. May you travel to America to enjoy life. May you travel to Australia to enjoy life. Not to work, to enjoy. Tell everybody to enjoy. But the key is in this fasting. Lord, give me capacity to wait on you and develop a character in me that I may have these blessings in Jesus' name. Have you been blessed?